Hi there, everybody. Thank you for coming back to join me. Um, I just wanted to share with you a little journal that I've made over Christmas. Um, I've made this journal using the um, basic journal course from Mrs. Coggs. And I have used this. I've done this before and made this journal and I really enjoyed it. And just over Christmas, I wanted something to do that I just wanted to do it. So I did. Um, it's a teddy bear journal. It's a Diddy one. It measures... It's about three and a quarter that way by about mm, four and a quarter. It has quite a wide spine and the spine measures about two and a half. So it, it is a diddy one. I mean, you can tell from the, let me just wiggle you a little bit. You can tell from my hands next to it how, how little it is. And I find that these, they are fiddly to make um, because they're small. And they take as long for, well, it took me as long to make as a full size journal. Um, I've put a little tassel on the back, just some little ribbon and um, fibres that I had and a little, little teddy bear on there. And that, I mean, you could take, this won't come off because it's attached to it. Um, so hopefully it does flip up out the way. So you could move it when you're journaling if it gets in the way, you know, if you're careful with it. One of the images, as I say, this is um, the course that I took from Mrs. Coggs and um, it includes the images, the teddy bear images in it and the quotes that um, images, uh, what do you call them? The digital prints on the pages, the quotes and things. I'll show you as I go through. I'm rambling, aren't I? Sorry, I've, I've not done videos for a while and it, I feel a bit out of sorts with them. So, as I say, there's a little image there from Mrs. Cog and I've put some fabric behind it. And a couple of little flowers with buttons on in the middle. And that little girl's having a sharing her porridge with her teddy. It does lay quite flat. Um, you can see there's a lot going on. I think there's four signatures. Yep, four signatures. So I haven't counted the pages, but there's quite a few. There are quite a few. So at the front, um, I've used, I found a little book of teddies. So I've just included little images of the teddies one of the um, cards from mrs cog there little fabric pocket and then i've just used little words that i thought represented a teddy so best friends old and love i never had a teddy as a child my husband did and we've still got him he's called fred bear because he is fred bear um, but i never had one perhaps that says a lot actually um Mrs. Cog has also, the reason that I did this one, uh, went back and revisited this journal, is um, Mrs. Cog has actually done a um, journal pages, journal kit, teddy bears. So I wanted to use that. So I had to mess about and obviously print it smaller to fit, but um, I got it to fit okay. I think I did two to a page, something like that. And I found some little wooden teddy bears. So I've put him on there as well. So just a little pocket there with one of the tags that comes with Mrs. Cog's kit. And it says there, oh, bear, said Christopher Robin, how I do love you. So do I, said Pooh. So some stenciling, a little bit of uh, ruffle on there. These are what I'm talking about <laughs> that come with the um, tutorial that, that's on her uh, website. And I'll put a link to that below. Um, and there's just some teddy bear quotes as well. So teddy bear fireman there. Page from Winnie the Pooh has to be included, doesn't it? This is one of the journal pages. So it does lay quite flat, so it is quite usable. One of the images from her teddy bear kit. I've just used different book pages. And then there's just a little tag in there that comes off and there's one of the little tags. So he's peeking out there. Little teddy. <laughs> there are a few sadder, sadder sights than a wet bear hanging from a clothesline by its ears. It says a lot for them that they never complain. I'll just put some lace down the side there. Little glassine bag, and that says Playmate. It just fits in that glassine bag there. Another Peter, Peter Robin. Christopher Robin book page. Uh, the teddy bears, and that just comes out. Little tag, just tucked. It is just tucked under there, it just fits in. It's glued sort of just so that the, there's just enough room to fit that tag in. A 
So just a range of different pages that I've used in here. One of the book pages or piece of the book page that I had about teddy bears. And again, um, Mrs. Cog's teddy bear kit. And I am going to make a journal using these pages full size as well. I've got them printed out ready to use. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it. I don't know where the time goes. I mean, gosh, I'm retired, but time just flies. I don't know what we do with our days sometimes. Have the grandkids as well, though. Little Teddy. Um, and my mum's hospital appointments. And yeah, <laughs> my days just seem to go. Little fussy cut teddy bear there. Teddy bear there is laughing at his shadow, I think. And again, one of the journal pages. It's a lovely kit that she's got. Piglet. Teddy bears don't need hearts as they are ready stuffed with love. So as I say, you know, you can still write in this one. You can still get in and write to it. It's stiff because it's it's new. Again, these journal pages and another of the little teddies. Um, but with use, you know, they do they do loosen up a bit. And so I've made one of these before, but it was a few years ago. I do. I find it fiddly because as soon as I put, put the um, cuddle, as soon as I put the um, pages into the signature and then hold it, they all seem to spring out on me. So I've had them on the floor more times than a little. I do think that Teddy's got funny eyes. The little book pages there. And with a bag, fuzzy. Piglet trying to reach the door knocker. And again, just some odd pages. To be fair, I went through my scraps, well, my cut-offs that, you know, you have them laying around, don't you? And I thought, well, they just fit this perfectly. Friendship, lots of different teddies. I love that one where they're all reading a book together. flips up and there's a page there from Winnie the Pooh just put a teddy on it oh bear so yeah you can't as I say it can be written in I know it's a diddy one but people make smaller ones don't they what was this did I say three and a quarter by four lots of lovely quotes in it but it does you know it does lay it does lay flat friend. Look at that teddy, isn't he gorgeous? So when I do the full size one, it'll it'll have a, diff a similar format to this one. And that does flip out. A true friend is the best possession. Piglet sidled up to Pooh from behind. Pooh, he whispered. Yes, Piglet. Nothing said Piglet, taking Pooh's paw. I just wanted to be sure of you. Isn't that lovely? I think Winnie the Pooh books are, they are the best. With a little teddy there and a little dog with his teddy. Again, that's just, that's stuck on there. Everything in life I share, except, of course, my teddy bear. Teddy bear. So you can write on these, of course. Love me, love my teddy bear. With a little bag there with a little card on. Now that I'm all grown up, I can't buy any old teddy bear I want, except the teddy bear, old teddy bear that I want. And I think a lot of people, as they grow up, um, you know, the teddy bear gets thrown away or goes away. And I think sometimes they miss their old teddy. I have to say I didn't have one, so I, didn't. <laughs> I don't miss one. I do like teddy bears, though. And then in the middle there. So obviously, if the, on the full size one, you could cut these out and use them as tags. But because it was a small journal, I just kept kept it intact with the tags on. Fishing Teddy. So many different sorts of teddy bears. That one's got an American flag as a tie. That says soft on that one. 
I don't know if anyone else is counting the pages. I, I know I'm not, but I know there's a lot. I think there's something like um, 15 sheets in each. So what's that? 33, 6, about, probably about 120 then, ish, give or take. I'm not swearing to that. Another quote from one of the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Pooh said Christopher Robin, where are you? Here I am, it said a growly voice behind him. Pooh. And they rushed into each other's arms. Can't beat a bit of Winnie the Pooh, can you? Oh, Pooh falling out the tree. Well, I should have done it the other way, shouldn't I? Climbing up the tree, falling out the tree. <laughs> that looks like a Winnie the Pooh as well, doesn't it? little pocket there on that bag because I just like those images I didn't want to lose them piglet and poo snuggle there's no bear like an old bear in the center of the last signature there Red. and then that's the other side of that little bag and again Eeyore who doesn't love Eeyore and then rabbit that's when Winnie the Pooh got stuck he had too much honey and he couldn't get out of the rabbit hole and that's only a book page so it, it, it does get bent so I just want to just there we go but I just wanted to include it Again, that says soft. And then again, one of the little tags that I've made from one of the book, um, images out the book I had. That looks a big squidgy teddy, doesn't he? And he looks surprised to see us. One never quite gets over a lost bear. Oh dear. Some couple of teddies. And that says to have a friend is to be one. And I think in the times that we're going through at the moment, we all need a friend, don't we? And then in the back pocket, again, one of the images on there. And then I've just put left some of these that I had left tucked in there. So that is my little bear journal. I hope that you like it. I do. I love it. I love the size of it. Um... It, it's quite tactile and as I say it is quite sorry it is quite easy to use so if anyone's interested I will list this in my Etsy store um, thank you very much for watching and take care everybody bye